are back with more Sons of the Forest. What is going on today? Yeah. Well, we're going to look over a few things before we do anything. I apologize. I forgot to eat and drink before I uh, started the recording. But the recording started, so let's, uh, let's do our morning deal. Let's go. Let's go to our building slot, to our building area. Last, uh, last episode, we were looking at this. I was trying to consider whether or not, whether or not, I wanted to continue building this building, building it. Right? And changing, changing this out with wood. Making it a log cabin. Or keeping the stone here. Yeah. Gotta get a second in. You know, now that I look at it, it's not as bad as I was complaining about, I think. I think the stone, in, 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 I think it looks fine. But I don't, I don't like this. This is what I don't like. Uh, the stone columns. I could pull the stone columns and just build wood columns. That that we can do. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> well. I think we'll stick with the stone for now. I, I think so. I do. Okay. There you go. We'll build this up. We'll fix this. We'll make it. We'll, 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 we'll make it look fine. I think it's okay. Me thinks it's okay. Do, 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 do. I'm often oh, critical of myself when uh, building and uh, Yesterday, just like in a funk. I, I did. I didn't think I was giving the best building experience with that. But you know, I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna look fine. Now that I have a chance to sleep, maybe I didn't have enough sleep. May, maybe that was it. Kelvin's in, stuck in the tower again, you know, because reasons. You know. Because you get stuck in a tower when you're an NPC. They haven't fixed the warping issue yet. I hope they do. I'm always concerned. I, I, I'm always concerned whether or not I'm producing high enough quality content. That's one of my biggest. Uh, I don't want to be wasting your guys' time. I, I get a little. Uh, I get a little hard on myself. Like, is this going to work or is this not going to work? I think it's going to be fine. After I looked at it, you know, a good sleep does that for you. Gives you a new perspective. Alright, uh huh. There. Should be able to pull these out. There we go. Uh, the reason why I couldn't pull these out yesterday is because this wall wasn't filled and it was creating a dependency on these walls. Not a big deal. We'll be using these logs later. It's the dependencies. Ah. <sighs> So we'll continue, we'll continue on with our construction project, as we should. Yeah, hemming, I was hemming and hawing about it. I'm like, no, I think it's going to look okay. I think it's going to be all right. You sleep on it. You're like, ah, it'll look fine. Uh, 
Alright, now let's go get some stone. There's Kelvin. He used his wizard. He used his wiz wizard magic. I'm telling you, the guy either has a wizard staff, or he has uh, he has access to advanced technology that we do not have. We need to spy on him. That's what we need to do. Now, what we also want to do, when you're building a building, right, the, how, how the game, how this game and most all games work that have uh, enemies in them. Is you need to provide the cannibals. Ooh, jumpa chuba. You need to provide the cannibals a way in. In other words, you need, they need to be able to have a path. <coughs> or they kind of don't. The AI doesn't know what to do <coughs> if they don't have a path to get into your place. Uh, let's see. I think I need to extend this out one more row. Yeah, we're going to extend this out one more row. That's why I didn't complete this one. Wasn't sure. Okay. So we're going to provide them a way in. But it's not going to be a way in that they like. The exterior here is, uh, you know, just to protect us from whatever may come along. Like.
So if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, a good example is uh, seven. if you've ever watched players play Seven Days to Die, um, the, the, AI, the, the AI zombies and such look for a way to get into the player's base. And so what players do is they build these elaborate steps with traps on them. So every time the zombie, try, uh, you know, the zombie jumps up on the next stat, uh, step, they get shot by machine guns or auto guns or the uh, uh, little things that push push them off the edge or barricades that injure them, things like that. And that's what the cannibals and mutants are supposed to do in this game as well. So we need to provide them a way in to our base. And we're going to build that. It's not how we're going to get into the base, but it's how they're going to get into the base. So we're going to create an opening right here, like this. This is going to be the opening. And it's going to extend like that. <laughs> the AI in this game is really dumb. <laughs> it really is. Not the brightest. Not the brightest stars in the night sky, as one might say. But we're going to do this so we can grid this. So it's part of a grid. We're just going to go over here and talk to Calvin. Where's my man? Where's the man? Calvin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go over here now. Come on, Chunky Blue. Let's go. He's trying to go after Kelvin right now. You know, they should also... Could you imagine if we were playing with player destruction on? Or building destruction on? This is, this is ridiculous. Virginia, there's a giant pus ball right by, right in front of us. Right over here. Come over here. <laughs> uh. All right, 
Kelvin. Why don't you get some get some stones? <coughs> Fill a horse. So. These things are your best traps to use to protect your home. This guy's, this guy's tired. We literally just got up. Literally just got up. But we can't sleep well in our tower, so we have to sit here. Ah, things wrong with the game. Can't look through your inventory where you sit down either. Mm. Well, at least you could drink some coffee or that's water. Maybe you have a Mountain Dew. It's coffee for me right now. All right, that's enough. Let's go. Do, 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 three, four. That is enough. Ah. So this will be your entrance for the uh, guys. We want them to come in this way. We could make this a little larger. But I think this is good enough. Now we pull. All right, let's put the rest of them down. So we want to go this way. Like that. We want to invite them in, right? It's a freestanding in in invitation for them to come in. Now that little piece right there is not, uh, we're going to take that out, but that's, that was put, we put that there to keep this on grid. If you don't know what on grid is, um, there's a gridding system in the game. And if you break the grid, it's hard to...
break the grid or the, if you don't if you're not on the grid it's very hard to get the grid to line up again Parker did a good video on it you should uh, go check it out he explains it much better than I could essentially what you want to do is you want to lay your base foundation your base flooring and then you can remove the objects that you want gone That's why you see me building a lot of the exterior floor that goes beyond the cabin or a, a building before I'll build the actual building. It's based upon the uh, on, on and off grid mechanic. Right, so now that we know this is on grid, so we could remove this right here. cool is once you're on the grid this is the grid you can put it back on the grid just like that you can regrid it but if you don't build that piece here and then you come over here and go let me line up a a, uh, a way in you, you won't be able to you won't be able to put it on the grid if that makes any sense I don't know if it makes sense or not but I hope it does uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to this over. Oh, that was just that. Yeah, I should put this right here. There you go. So now if we ever wanted to, we could close this up. And we don't have to worry about being off grid. Right, I'm building the outline of this first. Because, because we need to. All right, so that is going to get in the way. So we just need to come back. And maybe go out like that. And then go here. So it'll be off by a little bit. And I'm going to take this wall, uh, probably another one out. And then we'll, what we'll need to do use these logs as our base foundation up here to hook all this up. <sighs> yeah, I hear him. So, gotta get yourself killed, son. You know? You gotta be more careful. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be careful, careful around people, okay?
need to get the old chopper out. Kind of clear this out a little bit. Bring this out. One more row, I think. And this is our defensive wall. That's fine. We'll, we'll have to use uh, some logs to create a platform to go across. It's not a big deal. So that's our that's our wall here. <coughs> what we want to do here uh, is we want to put these spikes on the opposite side here. Might be running out of sticks. So we want the spikes to face inward. If I sound a bit congested lately, it's because I have been. Allergies are, allergies are no fun. They're not fun. Okay. So what I do is... I'm all, son. Uh, not that one. I'm going to hook up to this one. I'm going to remove this one. There you go. Now yeah, we're closer. Like that. And then like this. Okay. 
Then we'll get our little knife out, or little hang on like that. And then back to our sticks. So I want to get, I want to set this up in the middle. So I want to do something like this. And then I should be able to do that. <clears throat> this gives me the halfway point. guys come in here, they're going to hit these spikes. You can make this as long as you want, so as long as there's a way in for them, it'll be fine. And if you can't get close, like we're doing here, so we want to back it up a little bit, like so, and then try to use that to get as close as we can, and then we just use that to go to here. <coughs> This one, and now we can go to here. There we go. Don't like that one. Don't like where's that? So we'll do that one. There we go. it up like that. That's roughly good enough. There. Uh-huh. So there. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's call it a day. This is Mr. Man here. He's tired, as always. This guy, man, I'll tell you. Stairs, get some sleep. Ah. It's easy time.
Now we'll put our pot on the shelf. We'll do two of them at a time. I'm gonna go with some more sticks. From the stick department. What's that sticking out? The cannibals have to go in through this room, through here, right? <clears throat> but are they going to be able to navigate this is the question. Will they be able to run in a straight line? Probably not. Now, what we could do is bring these in a little closer. Uh, and put them actually on the, the walls themselves. But those are a lot harder to repair. And then you want to, of course, put um, rocks on these to uh, make them a little stronger. It's not necessary, but it does shore them up. <laughs> and this tree has to go. Because they can climb this tree and jump into your base. Uh. So this is the cannibal's way in. Thank you. There's actually a better way to do this. Stop hitting me. These guys, these guys, these guys. G 
Jesus does not love you. <clears throat> Can't carry any more creepy armor. Oh, this is travesty. Son. There's an actual really cool way that you can uh, um, build a defensive screen. Build your um, let's put it right about yeah. It's all you know, kind of guesswork. Like, how do you how do you know which one to use, or where to you know where to drop the the stick? Well, it's just kind of guesswork a little bit. You get you get a feel for it after doing it about 422 times. So. Something like, yeah. So we want another one right there, right? So we want to come back to, oh, I don't know, about right there. And that gives you a line to do it right there. Like so. And then you use the next area, like so. Doink. So we want kind of uh, we want a couple over here. So we'll have to do. We'll have to get a couple more sticks, but that's okay. The other thing we want to do is have a way in and out for ourselves while we're building this, because you know you don't, you don't want to run into your own wall. And so we'll go up here, and we're just going to create a way in, and a way out. Your cannibals can't climb these things. Do that. But we're not done yet, so we're going to be filling all this in, obviously. Uh, let's go get some more... Uh, get some more stuff so we can do some more stuff, right? Build that up. We need a lot more uh, little stones. We'll pick those up as we go. <coughs> they spawn everywhere, so... You know, just grab whatever you're doing. Grab as you're building.
is a, uh, a really neat uh, defensive build that you can do using, um, let's see, using wall type, uh, a ramp type system where you put sticks on, sticks, you put uh, spikes on every about three levels and you build them in it. You build them as half. Uh, use quarter logs. Uh, we can build one. We'll build one. Spikes. Take quite a bit of resources to build, though. You're gonna need planks. You're gonna need lots of. Uh... It's a it's a it's a big uh, wood investment. have the wood in order to build one. It's, pre it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty neat looking uh, system. We'll need to wall this off as well.
only the only problem is is the guys can beat on this from the exterior. Alright, so we're gonna fix that. We can't build any spikes out here because we have spikes on the inside. And what I might need to do is I might need to take these and put them on the actual inside of the area. But we'll see how it works, you know? Sometimes you feel ah. you sometimes <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Uh, we do need to uh, obviously put uh, put some uh, stones around these things, but you can kind of see how it will work. I have to shore them up. But for now, we'll just we'll just have them there. Yeah, just demonstrating what we're doing. We're not uh, we're not done with build. I start building a, a, a wall over in uh, the early game. I had a couple com comments. People like, you need to put stones. Like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, son. <clears throat> it's, you need to put a roof on your building. No shit, Sherlock. I'm trying to. I'm, we're still working here. We're still working. So let's put this back in. And let's put this one right here. No, I don't like it there. And I can put one there. And take this one out. It's kind of, it's kind of like chill out, man. We're just, we're just getting started. I appreciate the enthusiasm, I do. But you gotta, you gotta calm down a little bit. You gotta calm down. No, 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 no. This one. Put that here. Move this one. I don't think I, I don't think I ended up putting uh, any uh, any rocks behind them because I I abandoned the uh, wall project. Let's calm down. It's gonna be fine. Calm down. We're in the middle of a big build. This is not <laughs> the end. Is the end is a while away. So. One of the reasons I don't build these very much is because I don't like them. I, I don't like their look. I think, I think they look awful.
Uh, we're just gonna pick up. It, it, it was like, it's like, yeah, I, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get to we'll get the stones, but we're gonna do the stones incidentally. Like as we go, we'll, we'll add things. <clears throat> I don't like the stone part of it. Is what I'm. Is what I'm saying. <clears throat> so we'll pick up sticks as we go and fill them as fill them in as we go. Uh, I wanted to put in what. Oh, how you do it? Uh, so what you can do. Grab yourself a stick. Put this, I don't know if I could do it right here now, though. Uh, there. And then you can take that corner and put them on top of a... Like, right there. See that? And now those are on the actual platform. I'm going to put them kind of in the corner. Yeah, man. It's a little tricky. That. You're the next one. That. Yeah, can we do one in here? We should be able to get one out there. Right about there. Then you're going to go ahead and chop them in. Stones laying around here. Too. Then you do that, that, that. It looks kind of goofy. So you can double row your your uh, your uh, defensive measures. But what uh, the the thing I was talking about over here is you grab say like these quarters and we're going to build one here and then we snap it like that you grab a log like this <coughs> go across now you can put sticks on this right then you grab a half Put your log across, create a stairway, a uh, roof system like that, and then you put your sticks on the roof. So the cannibals are going to, they're going to want to come up like this. You, you provide them a way in, right? And they're going to want to come up like this, and there, there's three layers. So imagine, two or three layers. So imagine them trying to go up that roof with spikes sticking out of it on a slope. That's how you build uh, a defense. That's how you can build a defensive uh, wall as well. well. We'll do a full one. All right, Chucklebutt, let's go. I ain't got all day. We don't run. <laughs> Silly goose. Generally, you want to put your. If you're just doing one row, 
of spikes. You generally want to, um, what I generally like to do is put in my spikes first on uh, just like this. But you don't have to. You can do this. You can do this system. You can do this system without doing that. Yeah, I'm out of, I'm out of sticks. Let's go get some more sticks. <clears throat> Rocks, rocks, rocks. That was, uh, that was very, uh, wait, what would you call it? Uh, anticlimactic. Okay, go here. And then take this one out. Oh my gosh, come on, dude. Okay. Yeah, let's put another. Let me put as many spikes in there as you want. Obviously. So yeah, the putting them up here just looks it looks so goofy. Where's my rocks? And you don't want to do the you don't want to do these until you put your next row on. Because <clears throat> it won't, I don't think it'll allow you. Well, it didn't allow me when I was first doing it. So you need to make sure you put your Put that up first, and then you can put your uh, rocks around the thing. Like that. Do you want to put a second row in up there? Yeah, why not? Let's put a second row up there. Um. <clears throat> Let's build it right. Let's, let's build it the way we want, right? And this take this takes so long. Uh, the, the only reason we're doing it is because mutants, cannibals, will attack your walls. Yeah. And we want to make this a safe place. We want to make it a safe place where we can get hugs without having to give me that back. Come on, come on, game. Let's run around. Right. And then we'll just go like that. There we go. Do a little shenanigans for it, but that's fine. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck getting through that. Let's get some more sticks out.
you know, sometimes you can get it really good. Yep. There he goes. That's a good one right there. Now I can put our stones on. Trying to do this in the snow. Trying to do this in the snow is awful. Looks like we killed a uh, deer. Nope. Yeah, trying to do this when they're still on the ground is awful. <coughs> Betty bye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, let's go to sleep with pie. We're going to end the episode here today. fish left in our traps. We're gonna keep the meat. I don't make. I don't mind making stews out of meat because, uh, well, it only takes two pieces of meat to make a stew. And if you eat two pieces of meat, raw, uh, dried meat, and then you got water, it's, just, it's the same. It's the same exact amount of food. But we're in the episode right now because we're at our time. We'll finish this. Oh, we'll keep working on this throughout the, throughout tomorrow. Get ourselves a nice little uh, place that we can sleep and such. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.